Hey Capricorn, how you doing? Going to get into your reading here for December. Hope you guys are doing well. And uh, remember, these are general readings. Take what resonates here. Let's see what's going on here for Capricorn in December. And if you guys are interested in personal readings, that information is in the description box down below, along with um, links of the decks, the microphones and stuff that I use here. So if you're interested and you want to purchase a deck, and using those links definitely help the channel out here. All right, so let's get into this reading for you and see what messages are coming out for you. Center of the reading is the Queen of Pentacles. That is your energy here. We have the Eight of Pentacles underneath that too. So let's see how this reading goes here. You're definitely stepping into or in your power here, Capricorn. We have the Ten of Cups. Now, Ten of Cups doesn't have to be, you know, sometimes it's read as, you're happy, everything's fine. Um, you know, it just means you're with family too, right? So we are doing, are in this holiday season here. Maybe there's something to do with family. I'm reading intuitively here for you guys, so all the cards will be in the upright. Now we have the Wheel of Fortune, and it is a 10. So there is some sort of new beginning starting for you. But with the Wheel of Fortune, it is a lucky break here. And with the Ten of Cups, and you have the Queen of Pentacles here, so far so good. I see the Emperor underneath here. So Capricorn... Let's see how this goes. I mean, um, sometimes when it's too good, we have to get a little bit deeper into these energies and see, just to be sure. But I feel like there's a big shift. I mean, there's there's a sense that you've you've um, really worked on leaving situations here that have you you felt very held back into, right? Um, it's like you're clearing your mind and, and focused more on having fun. It doesn't have to be with um, you know, a, a romantic connection, but with the Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups being over here with the Wheel of Fortune, that's like, you know, maybe you're just having some fun with friends, meeting new people, you know, getting out there, trying new things, you know, you're just doing stuff like that. Um, let's see, we have the Ace of Pentacles coming out here for you. That is a past energy here, so it could have been a new opportunity that you've been working on. Um, if you Oh, you have been working on this opportunity. For others of you, this could be a new opportunity that's coming towards you. We have the Seven of Pentacles, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You can see he's planting the seeds here. And he's watching that plant grow, right? So there's something here that you've been working on and really putting time and energy into, all right? Um, now, for some of you guys that are not, uh, let's just say you're not working right now and you've been looking for a job. Um, I know it's holiday time and typically... Some companies are, you know, closing down on that, but I kind of feel like you're going to be reached out with an opportunity. Um, you know, this is a sense where, you know, sometimes during the end of the year, this is like interview time, right? So some companies do that. So I feel like you're going to get an opportunity that kind of comes when you least expect it, though, okay? So be prepared for that. Um, it might be coming during a time frame when you are spending time with family and friends and you, you're making plans, I guess. I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, you you are... You know, let's just say you're planning something for the weekday. You're not working right now. You're doing something, and then all of a sudden you have this interview to do. So it's like be prepared for it, okay? Um, not going to be for everyone, but somebody needs to hear that. Let's see. We'll get all the cards out and see what's going on. We have the Two of Pentacles in the future energy. That's something to look at because the Two of Pentacles is, a, is an energy of feeling imbalanced here. So maybe there's a sense of you um, being pulled in different areas where things are like, I need to take care of this, I need to take care of this, you know, things are juggling here, right? So maybe maybe there's some energy here that's putting you in this eight of swords, like you're not sure which direction to move towards. Um, so some of you guys could be dealing with that too. Um, let's see. We have the four swords here. This is your subconscious here on the bottom row. So you might be wanting some time to yourself here too with that four of swords, taking a break, getting a rest here. Recharging, recharging your batteries. We have the Knight of Cups down here too. Again, in your subconscious, so you are thinking of a connection. Um, we have the King of Wands here too. It could be a fire sign that you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be, but there could be someone here that's either on your mind or they're on your mind. So we're gonna we're gonna take a peek at that one too. Let's get one more card here for Capricorn. And we are coming up into the Capricorn New Moon later this month, so into Capricorn season. So, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of shifts in, in regards to like, you know, it take your time to enjoy, you know, and, and um, you know, rest and recharge because I feel like Capricorn season coming in, it's like it's about 
this Ace of Pentacles, you know? It's about getting into this energy, this Queen of Pentacles energy. We have the Queen of Swords at the bottom here. So, um, and it's more of a future energy over here, right? So we have the Six of Wands underneath. So overall here, I do see success, okay? I see success, Capricorn, but I do feel like a big part of this reading is looking at this Four of Swords and putting your time and attention to a lot of different places here because with that Ten of Cups here, this could be a big family environment that you're dealing with. You have the Three of Cups down here too. Future energy. You could be meeting someone new as well. Because um, I was saying that here. And you have that King of, or the Knight of Cups. And with that Three of Cups here, there could be a new friendship that you're meeting here. Or new new person. And what I mean that is like, what I mean from that is like, when you see these two, it's like uh, the Knight of Cups with the Three of Cups here. It's like there is a, there's someone that catches your eye. I don't feel like you've met this person yet. For some of you guys, it's a new connection, okay? Uh, for others of you, you're like, you've been, you're in this energy of like, you know, I, I want a new connection. It would be nice to go somewhere with someone. It'd be nice to be in this Ten of Cups. That's the energy that's coming in for you. Um, so I do see someone coming into your picture here. But with that Queen of Swords energy, I kind of feel like you... You see how this goes here? You have the Four of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Swords over here. So there's a sense of you taking time out for yourself, kind of opening up, and maybe even taking time to focus on yourself and do your own thing and, you know, um, kind of spoil yourself a little bit is, is a good way with this Knight of Cups here. But with that, it's like it gives you some sort of, like, energy to... Things are clearing up for you. There's a sense of you understanding where you want to be like next month or two months or three months. And it, there's a sense of direction here that you receive in the month of December. Okay. Because um, again, we have that six of wands up here and that is Leo energy. And that's about victory here. That's about um, feeling recognized for all this hard work that you've been putting into. And this ten of cups could be bringing a lot of happiness for you as well. So I kind of see that going on. All right. And then we have that wheel of fortune. Remember, that is like when you least expect it. So let's take a look. That kind of covers the summary of everything. So um, let's, take, let's take a look at a few other things here because I want to see this Three of Cups. So just because I'm moving further into the reading and whatever I said prior to that, it still stands, okay? So don't feel like, um, you know, everything is deleted from what I just said. It's just that I'm, I'm, there's so many people, right? So there's like, there's some, some of you guys are meeting someone new. Some of you guys are just working on yourself. Some of you guys are working on your business and your finances and your money here. And I can just already see from this level, Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, there's a chance that you're working a little bit too hard in some way here too, because there is an imbalance in the future. So that's why this Four of Swords is going to be important to you. Do you see how that works? All right. Um, I do see the Ten of Pentacles underneath here too. So let's see this Three of Cups. We have a Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. I think I was saying Aries Leo Sag earlier. Uh, but there is a Queen of Wands type of energy um, that is... Either you know as a friend or coworker, or they you will be meeting this person here. Okay, what's the outcome of this connection? It kind of feels like it's a start of something new, so it may not be anything too much. But oh, we have the Eight of Cups here, so it might be someone from the past because now the Eight of Cups is the card of walking away, right? She's walking away towards the sun, right? Now it could be that your person that you're dealing with here, they they're leaving a connection and they're you know you you're starting to talk now, right? But I kind of feel like it's more of the Eight of Cups in reverse, too, for some of you guys. It might be returning to a connection here, but it's more of a friendship for some reason. We have the King of Swords underneath. Let me see this Eight of Cups, though. Why is this Eight of Cups here for Capricorn? We have the King of Wands. See, there is a return. So it's going to go different for a lot of you guys here, okay? There could be someone here that is has been developing some deep feelings here and they need they're leaving a connection and coming towards you okay for others of you this could be someone here that you've been dealing with heavy fire energy though they could have some water in their chart because we have the three of cups the eight of cups here um if anything cancer or pisces energy there um but there's there's a um it's like an undeniable connection it's a power couple energy here right i see the moon being underneath here as well so some deep emotions are starting to be released here. So this could be, even if it's like Three of Cups energy is more of a friendship though, you know? See, Queen of Cups underneath here. It's like more of a friendship that this person is developing deeper feelings for. 
um, or they're developing deeper feelings and they're kind of seeing you in, in this um, this energy. You guys have a lot of passion, whoever this is, whoever this resonates with here. Let me get one more card on this. We have the star. I mean, see, it's like when I was saying someone is walking away from a connection and coming towards you, Capricorn, there's a sense that this person may need healing. For others of you, is it's like if, if, if this is a new person you've never met before and you're meeting someone new, they might, you know, you might have a conversation and it's going to be like, oh, I just kind of broke off from someone here. I'm not really looking for anybody. You know what I mean? But it does, there's, there's an actual soulmate connection that's going on here that you don't see. Well, you see now, but... You know, it's something that surprises. It's a wish fulfillment. You've been wanting this person. You've been wanting a person like this. Again, your subconscious is the Knight of Cups. You want a romantic type of connection here. You're not looking for um, someone that's just in and out player type of energy. Now, the King of Wands sometimes can be that energy. Um, the Queen of Wands can also be that energy. But at the same time, I feel like your guys' energies, when they come together here, there is a friendship. There's something here that you build a strong foundation with. And maybe you guys have a lot in common. Maybe you walked away from a connection and this person walked away from a connection. So I kind of see this as being two people being divinely guided together and, and building something here. So a lot of you guys, new connection. Some of you guys might have someone from the past returning here. Okay, so let's see this Ten of Cups then. Let's see this Ten of Cups here for Capricorn. We have Strength. So you're kind of, you know, the Ten of Cups here, sometimes it is um, working on, it, it, everyone has a different definition of their Ten of Cups. It doesn't have to be married with, with a house and kids and everything, right? And I kind of feel like you've been focusing on just your own happiness with that Strength card, Leo Energy. It's, it's building up your own confidence here. And it is moving you towards, I kind of went reverse here, but it moves you towards this new connection in some way. It's kind of you, cho you choosing yourself here, okay? So let's take a look at this Two of Pentacles, because I feel like everything here is straightforward on the bottom. Um, I just want to see this Two of Pentacles, because the future energy shows imbalance, juggling, too much going on. Maybe there is a connection that you're dealing with, and then you're trying to focus on your finances, your career. Sometimes when it's a new connection, you know, some some one party wants to talk more than the other party, you know, and then it does take more of your time and energy, right? So we have the sun here. So I feel like with the sun coming out, um, you know, it is an energy here where, because the sun is about happiness, right? It is that childlike energy. It's like getting out, having fun, right? And it feels like with this two of pentacles that maybe you do come, and again, future energy hasn't happened yet, but maybe you might find yourself being like, I need to take care of this. I need to take care of that. I mean, you know, and then you feel like things are unbalanced. You, you know, I can't put time and attention into romantic connections. I can't put time and energy into this business or this new career or whatever this is. And I feel like your advice here is this sun is saying, don't take everything so seriously. That's really what it is. You know, like you are, wherever you're at is where you're supposed to be. And it's saying here to enjoy life a little bit. Every, it's not the end of the day. You know, it's not going to be the end of the world if, you, if you're unable to cater to everything here, right? So um, it's basically saying don't sweat the small stuff is what I'm saying here, okay? And, and the two of wands sometimes is about travel, you know, because she's out there looking out the window. Yeah, it is about making decisions and everything. But when I see it like this, I'm kind of looking at this. She's looking out and saying, you know, where do I go? There's the globes over here. You got the little Volkswagen, uh, you know, vehicle down there. And, and, and she's just kind of like, where am I going to go? Where's the road trip at? You know, so it's like, don't forget to have fun this month. Don't forget to um, take take time and enjoy yourself. OK, enjoy this new connection if it comes in. Enjoy times with friends and family here. Maybe there is a friend that you're with and it becomes a little bit more here. Right. But either way, with that eight of cups, I feel like there's someone here that is separating. OK, any advice I can give you from that is take it slow, because if, if for example, if it's you leaving a situation, you don't want to jump into a connection right away. You kind of want to, um, you know, enjoy your time here without any anything holding you back so um, it's the friendship the trust here is that three of cups um, that's going to be very important because I feel like this is a long-term connection here because that star that's a wish fulfillment that's something that's coming in um, you know that you've been wanting with that knight of cups here all right um, I'm gonna leave it right there though I don't think I really need to dig deeper I do feel like a lot is going to shift when you least expected that Wheel of Fortune is like divine timing. So, you know, it's like one of those things when, like I said, with the sun being over here, it's like 
you're out there having a good time doing your own thing, just just getting out, um, joking around, you know, with friends, family. Try to do things that are different and disconnect yourself from the norm here sometimes. And I feel like you're going to start seeing good things start coming towards you. I mean, this Ace of Pentacles is a big opportunity. Some of you guys have been working on this for quite some time. Some of you guys just have this new opportunity that's coming towards you here, you know? Nine of Cups, it is going to make you very happy. Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, a connection. I mean, what more? You know, you've been waiting long enough. Three of Wands, it's time to time to go get what you want. All right, Capricorn, um, let me get you guys a quick oracle. I'm not going to be reading the book today on that one, but I will be getting into it. And um, I'm just going to pull one card and see. We have the Goddess Copacity. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. See, I'm, the reason why I'm not reading the book is because the, this book is new. It's called, um, what is this here? Water Temple. Yeah, Water Temple Oracle. And um, yeah, there's there's some um, there's some words here that I'm still getting used to. But it does mean rebirth. And it says, I am reborn. Look at that. So um, that's a good oracle for you to get here, Capricorn. If you guys did resonate with this, um, helped in any way, please do hit that like. If you guys have not subscribed yet, please do so if you feel like we vibe here. And um, I do come out with the, the monthly readings, and I'll come out with the mid or end month. And if there's anything that doesn't have the, like, December 2022 on there, that's just energy check. These are timeless readings, okay? So I'll be coming out with a lot of those this month as well, all right? So take it easy, guys. Until next time, we'll see you.